Well, guys, let's see. Let's start. Let's start. Mr. Orellana, hello, good evening. Beatriz, good evening. How are you? Jose Wilfredo, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, my friend? Uh, thanks God, everything good. That's great. That's great. Yeah, today was uh, really well. Um, could be stressful because today, most of the time, I pass on the meeting. Oh, really? Yeah, so we have a lot of to do today. Uh, that's, I mean, it's, as you said, stressful. Uh, it's something that's stressful. But uh, I live one hour Early. Earlier. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, but it's because we uh, make a lot of things today. So the boss told us that we can live early today. So, but it was really nice. Well, at least that's cool, right? Yeah, that's right. I guess, teacher, that we cannot hear you um, so well uh, because your microphone is up. Let me check. Let me check. Great voice. Yeah, I guess that was it. Now it's better, right? Yeah, now it's better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that sometimes for another class that I have, it's it's in a different app. I have to lower it. It's too loud. Uh, that's why you you set yeah, up some, the different uh, your yeah, mic. Sometimes sometimes I forget to to to, to bring it back. <laughs> yeah, that's happened. But well, I I have to drive. I have to draw right now. Well, not right now. I draw at the evening to pick up the the kids up. The to, to the, oh, the kids. To the school. Yeah. yeah. So the traffic was really stressful today. I don't know why. For real? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know why, but you know what? Well, I don't know if you drive through the Santa Tecla like 5.30 p.m. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, the traffic was really hard. That's crazy, that's crazy. Yeah, that's right, yeah. so. Every day is kind of complicated over there. Um, sometimes, because most of the time uh, we don't have uh, any stuck on the traffic, but uh, since the last Monday, so I don't know what happened because the traffic was terrible. All right. Yeah, you know, traffic is sometimes it's difficult because I mean, you get in, in a lot of traffic, you get in traffic jams and Suddenly, there's no more traffic jam, and there's no reason for the traffic jam to be. Yeah, but I, I guess that there are a lot of people maybe that drive like, I don't know, because maybe they don't know how to drive well. Yeah, yeah, that's another uh, question. Yeah, some, I don't know some why people, they have the license. Yeah, some people it's kind of complex. Yeah. Well, 
I don't know why, to be honest. Uh, I talk to my wife, if I was police, I, I don't know if I can say I remove the license or I pick off the license. I don't know, explain to me, please. I take off, I take off, let me see, let me see. I'm um, uh, I yep. Uh, uh, I took away the license. Oh, yeah. Le quité la licencia. I took, I took, I took them I away. That means les quité. Les quito. I take. I take. Oh, I take. I away. will take. I will take. I will les take. Quitaría. Okay. I will take. I will take away. Away. We can use away. Yeah. Take away. I, yeah. Yeah. I will take away the license. Their license. Yeah. They will take yeah, away I mean, their license. Yeah, there's people who's, who ask crazy on the street, and you gotta be careful, actually. Yeah, that's because right. Because there's a lot of aggressive people. Yeah, a lot. Of, but you know, teacher, if they're aggressive, uh, well, you know, maybe they don't know who I am. Uh, That's the reason. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Right. But thank God, every, everything was good. So I'm here now, resting a little bit time for after before to the class. Okay, well, that's cool. That's yeah. cool, my friend. Let's see. Let me just get. Right. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, Let's see. Class. Who else is around? Danny. Hello, Danny. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Danny. Um, How's everything? I'm fine. Thank you. Well, everything is going well, I think. <laughs> um, well, this, this week has been <sighs> very, very tough. Um, I'm finishing a lot of, um, well, just a project in the in uh in the in the job, but um, it has been very very difficult. Um, and it's a great um, achieve for me. Achievement. Um, um, yeah, achievement. Um, now, um, I, I was prepar preparing the report for both the final and, and the executive summary, I think it is the, oh. the term. Yeah. And so you've been busy and just that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but now um, it's a, uh, it's like uh, how do you say um, um liberando presión. <laughs> I don't know how to say <laughs> letting off some steam. Uh, yeah. Letting off <laughs> some steam. Yeah. Letting. Layering of some something. Steam. The steam. No. <laughs> ah, no. steam. Let me. Okay. Yeah. Like this. Steam. Steam. Okay. Letting of some steam. Yeah. 
thing, thing. And just that. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much and welcome. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, Alejandro Alfredo, hello, good evening, how are you? Okay, let's see, Ada. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Can you hear How me? How are you? Yep, I can. Uh, more or less, teacher. I with a little pain this day uh, in the morning. The extractor of the a tooth, muela, sorry, tooth. Yeah. Uh, I and I uh, could not the uh, irregular in what fracture in the Saturday, the incapacity did uh, meet me for me or with me. Uh, I had uh, to go to the clinic for the three hours um, for the um, urgent uh, administrative and financial meeting in for the new personnel and in the afternoon, around the 4 p.m., I got at home. I be living down in my my house. I am ready for classes. <laughs> Excellent, and welcome to the class. Good to have you here. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Hi, Claudia. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm doing, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. So tell me, how was your day? Uh, well, um, today was uh, not a busy day. It was uh, a normal day, let's say, but it's, uh, no, it's a, it was a slow day. Very calm. There's something is happening because uh, remember that the product I sell is for trucks or big vehicles. And what happens right now is that the fuel has high prices and that is preventing people to invest in things like insurance or the product that I sell. And we are experienced right now like a decrease in incoming calls or responses when we are making call, when we are outbounding, talking with customers that they are supposed, or, or we have, we already had previous conversations with them. They are like um, waiting to see what happens. The fuel price is uh, um, like, uh, making the rule <laughs> for everything right now. Mm. Crumble. Humble? Making, making everything crumble. Crumble? Yep. Would you please write it down? Yeah, sure. It's like everything making a mess, everything? No, because you say the rumba, right? Huh? You say the rumba, crumble. Yes. Pero es como que en torno a eso gira todo. But it's a new word. Oh, crumble. Crumble. Yes, exactly. But yes, it makes everything crumble. Yes, that, that is the best word. And mm -hmm, that, that is what is going on these days. So strange because right now eh, the sales are going low. The rhythm very, very low. Slow. Slow in this case. Mm -hmm. Slow, okay. Well, so bad, so bad. Mm -hmm. 
But, you know, let's hope things get better. <laughs> yeah, get or better, change. improve, 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 soon. improve, exactly. But all of these situations happens because of the war, right? Because everything affecting Europe, of course, will be affecting all the other countries. Or oh, things happening in Asia in this case uh, is um, punishing the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah, it is affecting directly a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And the fuel prices, the gas is wow, high nowadays. Oh yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Don't even remind me about gas. <laughs> That's bad. The price, I, I don't have a car, but the price you pay here, I guess, is lower related to what people is paying in the US right now. And so uh, just imagine all the traffic jams they are uh, involved in, and in, in they are in a traffic jam and they are wasting all this fuel time. And the, what the, the people say is, people is saying is that they are earning the same. So, or they are being paid the same, but they are spending more money in, um, in fuel, in gas. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's complex everywhere. Right now, mm -hmm. as you were saying, everywhere is kind of complex. And mm -hmm. Not easy for us either. Mm -hmm. Well, we're crossing finger that this situation will get better, will improve a little, but we don't know. Okay. Let's see. Thank you very much, Anna Claudia. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, guys. Who else is around? Maria Alejandra, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, you? Just fine, just fine. Okay. You know, same old story as usual. <laughs> okay, but it's good. What about you? Um, I feel a little tired, but today is my day off, and I do uh one errand or two, and I don't know. the The weather is very hot. And I put the air conditioner and in my car and I I don't know. <laughs> and I need to uh, stay out because I need to change my um jantas. Tires. Tire tires. Uh-huh. And then I went to the de la Laguna with my mother and my sister <laughs> and I stayed in the park and bought uh, food for the fish <laughs> and not only <Yeah>. that. <laughs> okay well you were having fun that's great. Yes I think that it, I like to have the opportunity to see a uh, different Mm, I don't know, to Lagunitas, or, aha, no sé cómo se llaman, estanques, estanques. Ponds? Ponds, aha, uh -huh, different ponds in the park, and then to uh, give a food, a uh, turtles and fish, and it's for okay. life. Yeah, and feel the purpose. 
Okay, well, at okay. least you had fun. You had a good day. It was relaxing. Yes, a relaxed day because uh, with my routine change because my mother stayed with me and my sister and it's not necessary to stay in my granny or stay to pick up for her or like this. Pick it up. Pick it up. And it's good. I have a relaxing day. Okay, well. Interesting. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome, teacher. Let's see who else is around. Well, let me get the attendance before we move on. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Okay, Alejandro, thank you. Welcome. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Danny Josué García Martínez. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Presente, Chero. Airi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Gracias. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Thank you, Heidi. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. And Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see. Okay. Well, let's continue. I still got time, so let's talk a little bit. Who else is around? Hmm. Juan Carlos, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Uh, doing fine, and you? Well, you know, here, same old story, just fine, just fine. <laughs> That's good. Yes, uh, sure. I was uh, sending a uh, homework before to joining to join to this class, so I was like uh, a little bit uh, rush, rush in a rush. In a, in a rush, rush yeah. in a rush uh, to send in the correct time frame uh, or the deadline specified by the uh, professor of that class. So I was like, <laughs> I hope uh, uh, I'll be on time to send my homework. <laughs> okay, just a little thing before joining. Before joining. Okay, yes. got it. Thank you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, it's good to have you here. So you've been busy today. How was your day? Yeah, uh, my day, to be honest, was uh, a, little, a little bit, uh, how can I say this? Ah, busy, <laughs> yes. Uh, I was like, 
a teammate is about to leave the team. Uh, by the way, is the person that I hate. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a little bit happy about it. But uh, I recognize that uh, she is very good at her job. So uh, I'm going to be like a little bit more busy in the future days. A little bit busier. Busier, yes. On the future days, because I know my workload is going to be is going to increase because my another co-worker uh, sometimes does, doesn't help me in the daily daily tasks that we have to perform. But yeah, uh, yes. Uh, in, in summary, that was uh, the big notice. <laughs> Okay. And what the about big you? news. The big, the big news. news. Okay, I got one phrase for you. Okay, in the upcoming days, your workload is going to be bigger in the upcoming days. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I know that's cool. Well. It's good that you're going to be busy. It's always good to be busy. Welcome to the class and thank you very much, Juan Carlos. Let's see. Hey, Francisco, how are you? I guess busy. Oh, there's Francisco. That's cool. So where are you now? Working? Home? No, you got still morning shift, right? Right, teacher. Right. Tomorrow, so, uh, I, yeah. uh, I will start uh, the afternoon shift. Okay, so it's going to be, well, you're not going to go work in the morning. Today, yes, teacher. No, I, but tomorrow. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, teacher. Um, <coughs> excuse me, teacher. Give me a sec. No problem. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, uh, only afternoon shift. Okay, tomorrow just the afternoon. That's cool. You like that shift, no? Right, teacher. Right. Because uh, I wake up uh, a little bit, a little bit late. Okay, well, that's nice. You're gonna you're gonna have time to relax a little bit, right? Mm, so so, tissue. <laughs> because uh, in the morning, uh, my my son uh, he wake up very early. Around oh, okay. by 5.30 by or usually 6.30, usually. And uh, after that, uh, uh, there is uh, many things. For example, uh, 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 I prepare uh, the breakfast. Uh, um, how do you say, teacher? Eh, como las cosas para bañarlo. <laughs> Preparar las cosas para bañarlo. Batting implements? Mm, right, teacher. I'll prepare the... How okay, do you hold say bacha o bacha in English, teacher? Bottle. Bottle. Ah, okay. you say it, yeah, you say the bottle. Okay, teacher. There are uh, many things to do <laughs> in the morning. <clears throat> yeah, I can tell. I can tell. By the way, you say that it's a lot to do. A lot of things. Yep. Yes, sure. A lot of things. <laughs> yeah, but you know, 
that's part of being a father. Right, it's a, a, a part of the, a part of the life. <laughs> yeah, it's part of life. But right, what can we do? I mean, there's no other way. We need to adapt and keep on going. Right, teacher. Right. Only adapt. <laughs> but the, mm -hmm. the, the good things, uh, I, I think it is uh, uh, in this, in this moment, uh, uh, the, how do you say, como cambia el pensamiento, teacher? A change of mind. Oh no, Sorry, what you mean is to change the rhythm. Change the, the rhythm? The, yeah, the rhythm, that's what you mean. You can do the rhythm. Ah, okay, teacher, rhythm. Rhythm, right. ritmo. The rhythm, okay, teacher. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, changing the schedule, you change the rhythm, you start something different, and that's always good, I mean, Sometimes, sometimes it is boring to have the same schedule every single day. <laughs> Believe me. Uh, even uh, uh, um, the most uh, uh, difficult for me uh, is was uh, the first uh, two months. I but can in, imagine to adapt um, to the to the changing shifts. Right, teacher. But in this moment, I I think I I used to I used to it. Okay, well, that's nice. But you gotta say I'm used to it. I'm used to it. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Well, thank you very much and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Um, Mr. Rivas, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? How's everything? So, uh, everything is good. How was your day? Uh, well, it was really nice because today is my day off. So, I rest a lot. So, and I also, I went so with my mom to walk for a while. So, and you can say that it's really nice. Okay, well, that's cool, that's cool. Yes. And also, <laughs> I, I will rest a lot, so after this class, because tomorrow is my day off too. Oh, really? Yes. So they go. Yeah, that's, that's cool. But the, 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 the sad thing is, Saturday and Sunday, so as you know, so that is in order to go out with friends, so they yeah. have to work. So that, that is the bad thing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's difficult to share with friends and family like that, right? Yeah, that's right. At night, so it's, I can, right? <laughs> but the, the bad thing is after that, so yeah, <laughs> the next day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a little bit more difficult. Yeah, you know, so that's yeah, why. Yeah, I so got now, you, I got Thursday you. and Friday, so it's no good in order to go out because all of my friends are working. So they rest on Saturday, Sunday. But what we, what we can do? So. Nothing, nothing. That's yeah, the way it you're goes. going with the flow. Yeah, that's the only way to do it. Hey, mister, thank you and welcome. Welcome, sure. Suleyma, hello. Suleyma, I run. And let's see, yeah, I still got time. Ramon, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you, mister? I'm fine, teacher. 
thank you for asking. How was your day? My day, uh, it was uh, some um, like uh, um, calmado, tranquilo. Calm, easy, slow. Um, or normal day, yeah, normal day. Okay. A yeah. regular day, a regular day. Okay, regular day. Okay, what did you do? Tell me. Would you mind telling me some of the stuff that you usually do at your job? Um, yeah, I, I, I send an email. I Some emails? I send some emails. I send report to WhatsApp group. And, and then finally, I report at the final of the day and what, um, I don't know, cantidad o monto de venta. Quantity, amount. Quantity, amount, okay. Uh -huh. Quantity or amount. Quantity, quantity of yes. sales. You, yeah, okay, the quantity of cells, that's okay. 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 And then I I'm go, I went, sorry, I went to waiting for my girlfriend and then drive to my home and then I just arrived like uh, 50 minutes ago, around okay. 50 minutes ago. Okay, well, it's good to have you here. Thank you very much for being here. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Roxana, hello, how are you? Hi, good evening. I'm fine. Everything is going well, I think. You think? Yeah, it's weird because when all things is going well, sometimes or you think that is, I don't know, maybe some bad things are coming. I, I don't know. It's, it's weird. You are so positive. Yeah, you know, I have a son and I know that when the child are quiet. quiet? Yeah, it's a problem yeah. in the future. Yeah, yeah something, like... something is cooking, something's cooking. Yes, and life is like that, and I understand that. Well, not necessarily. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I guess you follow Murphy's laws. <laughs> well, I try to be positive, but... You know. Oh yeah, it shows. It shows. It really shows. <laughs> but in general, in, in general, sorry, everything is okay. In my work, um, I had a regular day, and I don't know. Maybe this uh, week, this rest of the week, tomorrow and Saturday, it will be. Uh, regular day too okay. and next week I think uh, I will have more uh, work because I have a loan in the department because my I am alone I am alone I'm alone because I my, am remember I am alone in the department I am alone in the department yep like because my co-worker has some days free, some free days, okay. and I will have a lot of work. But this week, I think it will be normal. So it's a uh, good week. But no, knowing you, it's better that you're busy. Yeah, yeah, always I be, I'm busy. <laughs> Hey, Roxana, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you. And welcome, everyone. Now, 
The first question we got right here. Uh, if you check in the Zoom chat, if one song were to describe your life, what song would it be? Let's see, Ana Claudia, what about you? My goodness. <laughs> if uh, one song were to describe your life, what song would it be? Oh my God, too many songs, beautiful songs, and I don't remember any of them. Don't right tell now. me Highway to Hell. That's not a good one for that. <laughs> Bunny. No, come on. Uh, beds are burning. How can we? The know? beds are all oh, midnight oils. Midnight oil. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not that it's describing my life, but it describes something that I believe we must be responsible for our uh, activities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I song love is. The uh... that song has. Yes. Yeah, I remember. I remember that song. How can we dance when well, the earth is cool? Yeah, I remember. Mm -hmm. I was worried you were going to tell me like something like them Yankees. Mm, no, no. Hey, as I'm telling you, there are so many beautiful songs, but I don't remember any right now. But that is one that I like the most. Okay, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> let's. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's see, Heidi. Hello, Heidi. You're around. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Heidi. Okay, Heidi, I got the same question for you. If one song were to describe your life, what song would it be? Kind of describe my life. I can't think of any song, really. There's none that you can relate to. Mm -hmm. I like a I like a lot of songs, but one that I feel that describes my life, not really. One that you can identify with now. Mm -mm. Okay, well, that's fine, that's fine, no problem. Now, thank you, Heidi. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Now that Heidi couldn't tell me about this song, Heidi, where did you go? I'm right here. Okay, you didn't tell me about any song. So I got another question for you. If you could be an animal, what animal would you be? An so they were with the weird support, with the weird uh, ideas now, the weird questions. Uh-huh. An eagle. An eagle. Now tell me why. Uh, because they are able to to burn again. Okay. That's cool. Now, guys, thank you very much, Heidi. Okay. Now, these two questions are the ones that we are going to be discussing in groups right now. Okay? We are going to be asking and answering those two questions. If one song were to describe your life, what song would it be? If you could be an animal, what animal would you be? You're going to be working in groups of three members. Uh, I would like you, oops, I'm sorry. I would like you to, to ask and answer each other to participate. Just let me check on something. Okay, guys, groups are created. Please jump in.
Hello, teacher. Hello, Carlos. We are waiting for your classmates, but they are not here. Yes. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you to another group. Okay. Okay. See you guys, keep on working, keep on working. If you cannot talk because of the microphone, you can text, okay? It's show that. Hello, Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. So I, I don't um, know what is with that. Perhaps it's missing. Tell me, how's everything? Um, everything is okay. Uh, the weather is so hot, and tomorrow is Friday, and it's a pay day, so it's okay. Yeah, the weather is terrible. I mean, it's so hot. I even got a little headache, a little bit of a headache. Uh huh. Yeah. But anyway, and tell me a little bit about yourself, Suleyma. I have never had the chance to talk to you like this. So tell me, uh, you're married, right? Yeah, it says the Hernandez right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how old are you? Uh, 42. Oh, really? We are the same age. <laughs> oh, really? Yep, I got an expression for you. You can say it like this. We are of age. It means that we are the same age. We are of an age. Oh, it's an expression. Yeah. And how many kids do you have? Do you have kids? Uh, yeah, only one. Only one? Uh, me too. How old is your kid? 21 years old. Is it a boy or a girl? Per pardon me? Excuse is me? it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Oh, really? We are almost the same. My son is, well, actually, he's going to turn 20 this year, in wow. July. And just one son? Yeah, just one. Yeah, no more, no more. He's almost 22. And what does he do? Does he study uh, or work? Uh, he's studying in the... Uh, National University. Really? What does he study? Um, psychology. Oh, nice. My son is studying at National University, but he's studying uh, physical therapy. Physical therapy. Uh, it's a medical career. Yeah it's, yeah, it's in the medicine department. It's from the medicine department. Yeah, he likes the thing. I like that career. Oh, well, he enjoys that. Not my thing. And what do you do, Suleyma? Uh, I work for for the bloom. For? I work in American Park and Ciudad. Oh, really? The American Park uh, on the way to Santa Ana, right? Yeah. Okay, how long have you worked there? Um, 23 years. Oh, really? Yeah. You've been there, you've been at the same company for 23 years? <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Don't uh, tell me that's where you met your husband. And um, no, I met my husband uh, through a friend, a common friend. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Because that would have been like, oh my gosh, in the same place. <laughs> no. No. And what does he do? 
um, he he has his own um, business. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. He repair, uh, uh, I don't know how to say, consolas. Consoles? Video oh, games, really? video games, uh, mm. PS. He works from home? Yep. PlayStation oh, that's cool. Or, or, yeah, computers cool. and sell so, uh, games he's into, for that. He's into electronics. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's nice. So, does he like video games? Yes. Especially Assassin's Creed. The mm, saga. Assassin's Creed, yeah. Well, actually, I read the book. Ah. Uh, I, I, I didn't know that Assassin's Creed is a book. There's a book. They made a book after the video game. Yeah, but it's cool. It's nice. So what about you? What's your opinion on video games? I like to watch video games, but I don't like to play. No, you're I'm not good. I'm not good playing video games. What I wonder is how happy your son should have been growing up with video games around the house. <laughs> he played video games. Um, since he was six. Yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. Yeah, he knows about uh, a lot of video games, story, and analyze the, every uh, character in the video game. So he knows a lot of things. That's cool. Now in my case, my son, he went into he went into sports and he actually, he practices uh, a discipline. He practices kickboxing. Oh, so that's dangerous. He, uh, it's fun, believe me, it's fun. <laughs> he likes it, so I mean, I tell him if that's what you want, that's cool. Oh, he's there. Okay, it's almost time. Let's go back. Nice talking to you, Suleyma. I really enjoy it. Thank you. Let's go back. Teacher. Yes, Mister. Uh, how how do you say uh, "piel de gallina"? Goosebumps. Uh, could you type it, please? Yeah, I am. I am doing it right now. Thank you. Oh, great. <laughs> Okay. Thanks. No problem. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, uh, um, let's ask some people. Let's see, let's see who is open right now. So, Danny, tell me if you could be an animal, what animal would you be? Um, the honey badger. <laughs> Why? 
um, because I think it's a very, very brave animal. He is very persistent and he never give, give up until gives up. Uh, get, gives up until they, they, they got what I, why they want. <laughs> okay. Interesting. That's actually quite interesting. Thank you. Let's see. One more, one more, one more, one more. Ana Claudia, what about you? What animal would you be if you could be one? Maybe a dog. <laughs> Tell me why. Because they are friendly, because of their fidelity, they just eat, sleep, enjoy, <laughs> and give love. Cats are better at that. No, come on. No. I don't know no, why. They, they are, I don't they like are better. They are better at sleeping, eating. Mm. They don't pay attention to you. I don't know, but I don't know why. They are I, so, think I will they be are a so friend of a cat. And they are so good predators. Mm. Mm. No, yeah, I don't are. want to find it out. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, guys. <laughs> Thank you. No, thanks to you. Okay, guys. Now, next set of questions for you. But before we do that, let me get the attendance so we can get rid of it. Tonight, we're going to be talking a lot. So be ready. We're going to be having conversations. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medias. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Kiliana Giselle Jiménez Escobar. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno Hernández. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's continue. Mm. Let's continue. Let's continue. Now, next set of questions for you. Tonight we're going to be working a lot with conditionals. Okay. So if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? If you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? Okay. It's simple. Remember, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? If you could change, if you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? But now we are going to change a little bit the way in which we do the activity. Okay. You're going to be in bigger groups. Okay. 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 Let me see. Let me check how groups are. Okay. This group is okay. Perfect. Okay. Now, in group number one, 
Heidi, you're going to be in charge of asking the questions. Okay. And Fernando is going to be in charge of taking notes of everybody's answers. Okay, Fernando? And you, Fernando, are going to ask Heidi at the end. Okay. In group number two, let's see. Jose Rivas is going to be asking. And Roxana is going to be taking notes and at the end asking Jose Rivas. In group number three, uh, let's see who, Danny, you are going to be in charge of asking the questions. And Ana Claudia is going to be taking a record of everybody's answers, okay? So at the end, I will need you, the ones who are going to be writing, to take a picture, to type it, or at least send me two or three of your classmates' answers, okay? Now, something that you must be aware is this. Remember, the questions go like, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? You gotta answer, it will be, I will, I will change, okay? because it's the conditional. So we are going to answer with the model, would. Guys, let's do it. Let's try this exercise. Let's jump in. Marcos, let me add you to... Here you go. I send you to a group. Hey, teacher. Yep. I need to pick it up my dinner, so I don't know if I could be away just for a couple of minutes. Yeah, just let your classmates know that you're gonna be just listening. Okay. For the ones in the group, get in the group and tell them. It's a very uh, being uh, sometimes I'm afraid to travel alone. Maybe I would like to change that, not uh, being afraid in that scale, maybe in a lower yeah. level. That would be <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the second one, if I could change one thing in the world. If you could, mm, what would it be? Mm, uh, it would be education for everybody for free. Around the world. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl. Um, it will be education for everybody. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's Francisco. There's Francisco also here. Mm -hmm. Marcos. Okay. Okay. Uh, Marcos. If you could, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it would it be? Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. I would like to change my my height. I would like to be taller. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, 
if you could change one thing in the world, what will will it be? A change in uh, something in the world. Okay. Um. Um. Uh, I don't know. I would like to change. What? Uh, well. Um. Uh, the pollution. I would like to erase the pollution in the world. To save or or earth and yeah to to have a better um level of life i would like to change that okay okay uh, luis oriana um, if you could change one thing about yourself what would it be Are you there, Luis? Luis is having problems with the microphone. He cannot participate like that. Okay. That's why he's okay. just listening. Well, okay, Francisco, then Francisco. <laughs> the second question. Uh, well, that's a difficult question, but uh, I will change maybe the the wages that uh, each a professional receive per their um how can i say this mm. their tasks are no <laughs> so uh, trabajos mm -hmm. what do you mean i mean uh, because
Y eso que se mucho. No puedo regresar a mi grupo. No worry, I'm calling everybody back. Okay. We don't finish. We didn't. Yes. Oh, I just texted you in the Zoom chat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, so nice. Okay, let's see. Everybody's coming back in a few seconds. So we're going to listen to their answers. Okay, let's see. Reports, reports. Who's gonna report to me? Let's see, Heidi, in your group, who was taking notes? Let me check. What? It was Fernando. Fernando, please report to me. Tell me, tell me a little bit of mm -hmm. your classmate answers, please, if you don't mind. Okay, teacher, my classmate answer. Yvonne told us that uh, she will change her hair in the first question. Okay. Or, I don't know, another color, I, I guess. Okay. And in the world, he will change, she, sorry, she will change uh, animals abuse. And Maria, her, no, she, she, she will change uh, her sensitive for other people. And in the world, he, she, sorry, <laughs> she will change uh, the opportunity to study for, for all the people. Okay, interesting. Thank you very much. Let's see now, Fernando. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's see. Next group. Next group was. Ada, Jose Rivas, Jose Wilfredo, and Ramon. Okay, in this group, who's going to report? Me. Okay. But we didn't finish, teacher. Well, in the first question, Ada shared us that if she could change one thing about herself, uh, she changed the perfectionist and be desperate. Okay, anxious, anxious. Anxious, okay. okay. That's fine. You got another and one? Ramon tell us that if uh, he could change something, something of him, uh, he would like to be a little bit ambitious and less confident. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Roxana. Okay, Anna Claudia, tell me in your group what were okay. the answers. Who was um, in charge of reporting? You, right? Yes, <laughs> me. Okay, tell okay. Me. in my group, uh, Marco said that he would like to be taller. That is. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in the other question, he will, if he could change something, he would like to change pollution because that will mm. give us a better um, standard on our life, not only for us, also for animals and the weather will be better, multiple things. For the whole planet, yeah. Uh-huh, correct. Danny said that he would like to change the fear to heights, heights. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the same than me. <laughs> but also he said that- You are afraid of heights, Oh, yes, yes, teacher. Come on, you fly it. Oh no, yes, but I'm afraid, for example, to be on a on a building. You know, one of my 
uh, therapist was to make this canopy <laughs> and that helped me a lot <laughs> in Tikisai, I guess it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, Danny, will, he will like to change the poverty in the world, the poverty. And poverty, time, poverty, 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 poverty. I'm sorry, poverty. Yeah, I was worried. I mean, why doesn't he like teenagers? <laughs> poverty. And we, at the time of um, we come back to the main room, Francisco was explaining us. He said that he would like to change the procrastination because sometimes he procrastinate situations yeah. and and then he wasn't able to we weren't able to hear what he would like to change one thing in the world mm -hmm. okay. and me in my case i said that um i would like to change the the i would like to be less afraid to travel alone when the 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 opportunity comes up uh I'm always looking for someone to better enjoy, like my best friend, but sometimes she doesn't have the time. We don't uh, make a match in the date. So I would like to be less afraid to travel alone. And one thing I would like to change in the world is that have that all of us, it doesn't matter if you are a boy or a girl, you are able to get education for free. For everybody. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Jim. Well, guys, now uh, I'm going to send you again. Uh, let's see. But, uh, we're going to go to the groups. I'm going to assign you two questions. The two questions are completely different. But now you're going to change roles. The ones who was asking now is going to be just reporting. And the one who was reporting is going to be asking the questions. OK? So there you go with the questions. The first one, if you could be famous, what would you like to be famous for? And uh, if your partner, that means if your spouse, okay, your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, uh, were offered a job in another part of the country, which was well paid, would you be willing to change places? Yes, no, why? Okay. In this case, you add that little why to the second question. Right? So I want it to be a little bit bigger. You're going to add up a little bit more. So you got 10 minutes for this activity because I know that it's going to get a little bit more complex. Please, let's jump into the groups. Groups are created, the same groups. And Roxana, you were working with... Uh, whom? Ada, right? Yeah, I was working with she. With her. With her. Okay, I'm gonna send you to the group right now. Okay. Um, Heidi, Heidi, are you ready for take notes? For taking. Oh, for taking, sorry, for taking notes. Well, you know, Heidi always tell me she was born ready. Heidi, I was born ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we will sign the same order. Suleyma, it's your turn. If you could be famous, what would you like to be famous for? Um, I would like to be famous for rescue animals. Rescuing. 
Fresh skin. Yeah. Fresh skin. Okay. Animals. Okay. Um, if your partner were offered a job in another part of the country, which was well paid, would you be willing to change place, places? Places. Uh, for me, it's not problem because if the family is together, no matter the place. Okay. Interesting. Interesting answer. Okay. And Maria, it's your turn. Maria. Okay, sorry. <laughs> if you could be famous, what would you like to be famous for? If I have the opportunity to or to be a famous, maybe a uh, written. Sorry? A uh, written uh, escritora. Oh. Writer. Writing. Writer. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And if your partner were offered a job in another part of the country, which was well paid, would you be no, would you be willing to change places? Only take the opportunity together if I opportunity for me in a new country. But if I don't have opportunity for me, maybe I thinking. Okay. Okay. Uh, what, what's the answer? If you have the opportunity in another country, you would accept. That's the answer. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, Juan Carlos. Hello, sir. Told me. Okay, if you could be famous, what would you like to be famous for? Uh, my dream. <laughs> My real dream, <laughs> if, if I will be famous for something, be the stronger. No. <laughs> the stronger I Sorry? Be the strongest? The strongest man in the world. Ah. <laughs> man in the world. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's like, the like Hulk. Hercule. <laughs> Hulk. Yeah, Hulk. teacher, but the, uh, my body, uh, I'm not too high to... <laughs> to accomplish that goal by <laughs> I would like to make the attempt to <laughs> okay cool yeah yes um if your partner were offered a job in another part of the country which was well paid would you would you be willing to change places of course then yes uh, I will be willing on the 100% because uh, wow I, I don't know why, but I would like to know each country of the world uh, before I die. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's another, of another dream that I have. Mm -hmm. um, I share the dream. Okay. Um, Haley, it's your turn. If you could be famous, what would you like to be famous for? Uh, I would like to be famous for finding the cure for autism. The what? The Sorry? cure for autism. Oh, oh really? the cure. The cure of mm -hmm. autism. Oh, yeah. It will be great. Uh -huh. And next question. Uh, I, the next I, question. I... Yeah. Second question? Yeah, Sorry. something like that. I would like to be famous for, mm -hmm. I invent uh, IA, Intelligence Artificial. Some. Okay. Jose Wilfredo, are you there? Maybe he is not coming. Having dinner. Hello, yes. I'm... Oh, there he is. I was unable to mute my, my microphone, but I'm here. 
So, are you available? Yeah. Okay. If you could be famous, what would you like to be famous for? Mm, I don't know. Maybe in this moment, um, maybe for play soccer, maybe. And why? Well, because I play really well. Okay. And the next question is, if your partner were offered a job in another part of the country, which was well paid, which was well paid, would you be willing to change places? Yes. yes. In my case, yes. Y que ella me mantenga. <laughs> uh, no, but I get well, in my case, yes, because I, I work from home. Yeah. So I don't have any problem, just that mm -hmm. maybe uh, that that place doesn't has internet, so we have to check. How you we can continue to keep continuing. Uh, how we continue? Yeah, that's right. So with that we we don't have any inconvenience. Okay, thank you. And okay. what about you, Ada? Ah, uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, if I will change for the ending, in I will the before the benefit on the whole family. Posteriori. <laughs> okay. And you, Ramon? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I I like that idea. <laughs> but you are working from home or you need to move? In in the other country. Or right, right now. now, right now. Oh, uh, I need to move. I go to the office. Oh, okay. Slim to others. Okay. Well, in your case, Jose Rivas, vamos a preguntarnos entre nosotros ahora. Okay. If you could be famous, what would you like to be famous for? Uh, a musician. I would like to be a musician. So okay. like uh, playing an instrument. And so like, I would like to be in a, in a orchestra, in a like famous orchestra. So probably in a in a salsa in a salsa orchestra. Okay. Mm -hmm. In Salvador all started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will be nice. Yeah. And if you partner were offered in a, a job, sorry, in another part of the country, which was well paid, would you be willing to change places? Yes, of course. So, because uh, I share the, the, the same like point of view. So, because if she can get so, like more income, because it's a family, right? So, yeah. both are working for for the same uh, vision and for the same like future. So, I'm willing to, to move to a different place. Okay, well, in my case, if I could be famous, I choose a singer maybe because they are traveling around the world all the time. And maybe I think that they don't have a lot of trouble about uh, money. Mm -hmm. 
Just spending time, traveling, resting, like a cat. Yeah. And okay. if my partner were was a new job in another place, uh, if I could choose, uh, I I move. I I will move with him if the job is really well. But. If the job is similar to the actually, maybe no. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's good. <laughs> okay, but sorry, Ramon. So I. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody's talking a lot. I hate it. How are you? Oops, sorry. Hi. Hi, how's everything? I didn't talk to you today at the beginning. It's true, I came a little bit late. Yeah, I was wondering. I was worried because I thought, oh, Heidi is not coming. <laughs> I was thinking, what is she doing now? I told you yesterday, remember that it would be a tough day. Yeah, you told me it was going to be mm -hmm. a little bit heavy for you, but productive, you told me, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. I doubled the goal today. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's, That's great. Good. That's great yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah, we are not even at the middle of the month. Mm hmm that's nice. But it's well, only least, one goal. From, yeah, that's exactly 13. what I was going. That's what I was going to. But at least it's one less for you to worry about. Mm, exactly. One less. You can, I'm just you, can missing. Focus, you can focus on the other ones. I'm just missing the other 13. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Heidi, in your group, who's going to report? I'm going to report. Okay, let's do it. Okay, in our case, um, we are going to read only one, right? One or two. Okay. Up I'm to going. you, but no more than two. Okay. Then let's talk about Suleyma. Uh, she okay. said that if she could be famous, she would like to be famous for rescuing animals. Perfect. Really interesting, right? Yeah, and is. about the second question, uh, she said that if a partner of hers would uh, be offered a job in another part of the country, which was well paid, uh, she would accept to to change places. Okay. She wouldn't have any problem if the family uh, goes together. And about Fernando, he said that uh, if he could be famous, he would he would like to be famous for creating an, an, an app for Google and send it to sell it to Google. Oh, cool! Mm -hmm. And That's then he could bucks. live happily happily ever after. <laughs> yeah. Live for the profit. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, thank you. Very well done. Group okay. number two. Group number two, let's see, Mr. Mr. Rivas, who's going to report in your group? Me. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Okay, Ada said that she would like to be a sharp woman to avoid the injust. Injustice. Injustice or injust? Injustice. Injustice. Yeah, injustice. Injustice. Okay. And also that she's agreed to move to a different place 
in order to reach the goal of her partner. Okay. And let's see, Jose Wilfredo said that he would like to be a soccer player. And also that he's agreed to move to a different places. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now okay. let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Danny, who's got, who was going to report in your group? Was it you? See, Ana Claudia, who was going to report? Uh, Danny, I was just asking the question. <laughs> oh. Okay, Danny, you're around. Okay, so I guess something's going on, but. Marcos but... was also there, Francisco, Luis. Okay, no problem, no problem. Marcos, tell me, if you could be famous, what would you like to be famous for? Okay, teacher, I would like to be famous for being a, a good football player and score a lot of goals and being a reliable, reliable striker and okay. win a lot of trophies. Okay, perfect. Francisco, if your partner sorry, were sorry. offered... Yes, Danny. sorry, I'm back. <laughs> My internet connection is very, very no problem. Bad. No problem. Please report. Sorry. Tell us. Yeah. Um, well, uh, Marco say that she will be famous. He will like to be famous for be a great football player, uh, a great striker, and win a lot of trophies and. A, uh, a lot of Ballon de Oro, etc. <laughs> um, and in the second question, uh, I don't, I don't wrote, wrote them. Um, yes, uh, he will be able to, to move to another part of the country. Okay. She will accept, yeah. And Ana Claudia, uh, she say that, um, she would like to be famous for, for teaching or helping women and how to, how to be successful and how to do whatever they want, how to earn their, their own money and change their mindset and that kind of thing with the women. And, in the in the second question she also will be willing to do to to move to another part of the country for another job opportunity or okay or well paid that's okay thank you very much danny okay guys last exercise now these two questions are completely different and the situation will change a little bit, okay? Okay, Fernando is ready. So before we move on, Fernando is going to present to us his topic. Please, Fernando, do. Okay, teacher, I will share you my... Can, you can share okay. it. Okay. Um, I turn off my camera because the connection. Okay. Can you can you see my screen? Yep. Now the presentation. Yeah, we can. Yes. Okay. Okay. My my. Exposition is about, <laughs> guess what, books, <laughs> but, okay. not, but not the books themselves, but my favorite characters. 
Okay, I, I promise I will be brief. Okay, my, my favorite books are two sagas. First of all, we have The Hitchhiker Guys to the Galaxy. It is a series consisting of five books. Uh, you can see the five books, The Hitchhiker Guys to the Galaxy, The Restaurant at the End of the Universe, Life, the Universe, and Everything, So Long and Thanks for All the Fish, and the last one is Mostly Harmless. Uh, written by Douglas Adams in 1978. The novel itself tells the story of Arthur Dent, a normal Englishman who becomes the last survivor of Earth after it's destroyed to make way for an interspace highway. Arthur friends for Prophet reveals himself to be an alien on the day of the Earth destruction and saves Arthur by hitchhiking on a spaceship. Arthur and Four eventually meet up with the insane president of the galaxy, Sapot Bibranot, and his <clears throat> sorry, and his fellow human trillion to seek out the answer to life greater question on a planet ruled by mice. And in second place, we had A Song of Ice and Fire, now worldwide for the HBO series Game of Thrones. It is a series consisting of, of five books. Can you see these five books? Uh, written by George Martin since um, 1991. And for more than 10 years, the fans of this universe, this universe, me include, had been waiting for the six books. Uh, the principal story chronicled the power struggle for, for the Iron Throne among the great houses of Westeros, following the death of King Robert in a Game of Thrones. It's a long story, but like I say, I won't talk about the book themselves. I will talk about uh, my favorite character. Okay. From the Hitchhiker Guys to the Galaxy is Marvin, the paranoid android. Marvin is a robot aboard the Starship Hero of Gold, originally built as one of many failed prototypes of serious cybernetic corporation. Marvin is afflicted with severe depression and boredom, in part because he has a brain the size of, of a planet, which he is seldom, if ever, give the chance to use. Instead, the crew requests him merely to carry out mundane, mundane jobs, such as opening the door. In that, the true horror of Marvin's existence is that no task he could be given would occupy even the tiniest fraction of his past intellect. Marvin claims he is uh, 50,000 times more intelligent than a human, or 30 billion times more intelligent than a live mattress. And here is some of my favorite Marvin quotes. For example, he said, it gives me a headache just trying to find on to your level. Uh, that is good. You think you have got problem? What are you supposed to do if you are a manically depressed robot? Now, don't try to answer that. I'm 50 of some time more intelligent than you, and even I don't know the answer. And we had other, and I want to show you my favorite, but this is my favorite because the, the context, uh, they were under attack and Marvin connected to the enemy ship. And I was thinking uh, Marvin is able to hack the ship. And he said, I had been communicating with the ship. What did he say? It's hate me, <laughs> but it was funny in, in the context. Okay, and my, from the other saga, my favorite character is Tyron Lannister. Uh, Tyron Lannister is a dwarf with stunted legs, a stubby finger, and a jutting forehead. He has mismatched eyes of green and black. So rumors spread that he has an evil eye. Oh, evil eye, sorry. Uh, Tyron's thin hair is fire and flaxen, so long it can appear white. He has some strength of black hair. However, and if he grows a bearing, it is yellowed white and black. Tyron's unique stare has been said to make people uncomfortable, which he tried to use to this and advantage. Uh, Tyron is intelligent, 
well educated and a ferocious reader. He is sharp of wit and tongue. Even though he is no warrior, he has been trained at arms and showed great bravery in a battle. Tyron has stated that what he lacks in size and strength, he makes up for in mental acuity. I think that is the pronunciation, acuity. Okay, uh, he really is a wonderful character. I dare, to, I dare to say that he is the most intelligent character in this fictional world. That is why I want to share with you some of his quote that I, that I like the most. That is some of my favorite. For example, uh, never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Wear it like armor and it can never be used to hurt you. Little shoulder. Uh, let them see that their words can cut you and you'll never be free of the mockery. If they want to give you a name, take it, make it your own. Then they can't hurt you with, with it anymore. And this that's good. A man needs books like a sword needs a Watson if it is to get it its edge. That is why I read so much, I mean. And we have one. It's not easy being drunk all the time. Everyone will do it if it were easy. So, um, and I didn't want to miss the opportunity, the opportunity to tell you that I like this saga so much that I carry them on my skin. What do I mean? Uh, well, this bit is my right calf with a tattoo of the guy cover. In the story, the guy is a book. The guy is the most important item in the Hitchhiker Guide to the Galaxy. Is the best-selling advice guy on the entire galaxy, since it's cheap, complete, and has "Don't panic" on the cover in large letter. And this photo is my right arm. I had a tattoo with the quote that I like the most from Tyler Lannister, which say, "That's what I do. I drink and I know things." And that's all. I hope you like. Well, thank you, mister. That proves that you are really a fan. Give me yeah. a second. <laughs> okay, teacher. Yeah, you are truly, truly a real fan. Okay, well, very well done. Just one little thing. Uh, the answer, the answer, okay? D. You forgot that little tidbit of a word. You're going to see yeah okay just that besides that uh very interesting let's see by the way who's for tomorrow somebody took my little notes gotta look for them who's got tomorrow mm. i win yeah okay let's see. and for Monday, we will see, we will see tomorrow. Okay, guys, well, you got two questions, right? If you found a suitcase full of $1 million, what would you do? If you were given the opportunity to mold your partner the way you want, how would you mold your partner? Okay, now, the situation is going to change a little bit. Uh, it's the last activity, you will have just five minutes. So, you are going to ask just one question to one of your partners. So the one who's going to be asking is going to choose which question is going to ask for each person. So perhaps uh, Fernando asked Heidi one question and he will ask Maria Alejandra another question, okay? The second one. That's what I want you to do, to alternate. So nobody knows which question is going to be asked. Group number one, Fernando's asking. Group number two, uh, Ramon is asking, group number three, let's see, Marcos is asking. Guys, let's jump. We just have five minutes for this activity. Let's do it.
If you found a suitcase no. full of one million dollars, what would you do? I wearing a I carry with me, but I waiting if um, the people any ask for the the and then I maybe maybe invest for uh, different things or or buy my house or try to know the world or like this <laughs> okay and and you Juan Carlos Oh, you told me. It's about the the million, one million question, uh, right? One million, uh -huh. one million question. Okay. In case we can keep it, right? In case we can keep it. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can give it to me if you don't want it. No, no because if you, if for example, if you take it to the bank, they are going to ask you, hey, where does this money come from? And you are not going to be able to. Okay. Lavado de dinero. So, you put yeah. a different person. <laughs> uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. In case you can keep it. <laughs> right? That's money yeah. laundering. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. What would you do, Juan Carlos? Oh, yes. <laughs> Let me share with you. Uh, I don't know if it's visible now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Bueno, yo se las mandé de nuevo. Well, uh, maybe I change or I mold the I no sé. You will change the the your partner? I don't have <laughs> I can I Answer that question. Please continue with the other. That's so bad. No, I don't have. Continue with the please. Jose Wilfredo, if you were given the opportunity to mold your partner the way you want it, how would you mold your partner? He's got his wife right, right in front of him, man. Be careful, <laughs> and she speaks English. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, no, I don't know anything. <laughs> no, you know that that's, that's they have the to... perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> cool, man. That's the way. That's the way. You know, teacher. You know. No, <laughs> I guess that is because if not, maybe you're never gonna be happy. Because you're never gonna found uh... a tremendous job, uh -huh. but they don't think in that way. They feel like uh, they are nothing. No, that's it. That's they have the power too. Mm -hmm. So it's the that's way the you need to switch your your mind, your set mindset, as you say. What's that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, because I'm, I don't agree with the second question. I don't want to mold anybody. Everybody's unique. And so that is what I'm telling them. That I don't want to mold anybody. Yeah, don't ask that question to Francisco. He's married, his wife is right in front of him, and she understands English. <laughs> so poor Francisco will be right like this right now. <laughs> Okay, guys, it's time to go. Okay. Just to answer the first question, Marcos, I will run. If you found a suitcase for full of $1 million, I will <laughs> run and then I will go to my home looking at the news and take a look and see if that money is missing or was stolen. A it, drug dealer, the owner. Uh-huh, uh -huh. Danny, I'm thinking because of the <laughs> bank's things, right? 
the money yeah. they have serious yeah. uh -huh. the money laundry and other things uh -huh. Okay, okay, let's see. We are just waiting for a couple of your classmates. Okay, guys, well, it was quite interesting. And the last question was very interesting for some groups. I hope uh, all of you enjoyed participating. Tomorrow we are going to have conversation, but we are going to also work a little bit with the manual. And uh, I got another type of activity set for you, always related to conversation, okay? But it's going to be a little bit different and I hope all of you come. Let me get the final attendance. Let's see. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ada. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasume Díaz. Thank you, mister. Oh, yeah, you were having problems with it. My Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Uh, present, teacher. Danny Josué García Martínez. Present, teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Oh. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Present, Luis. Teacher. Thank you, Ramón. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you, Miss. Okay, guys. Well, very good, very interesting activity. Hope you enjoy it. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Please be on time. Bye bye. Have a good night. Teacher, I have Anna a question. Claudia, at the end, at the a second. Yes, please. Yes, not a problem. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye, bye. bye everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank Teacher, I have a question of the platform. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, is in the exercise, I'm getting, I'm going crazy with this. The exercise 2.5, the first part, it says, uh, the instruction says complete the conditional sentences. But in, I don't understand, it says type I in the, Oh, what it says, tap the, the line. Give me just a second. Okay, let me copy on the, um, let me copy the way how I grow in the first. This is the way how I grow the things, I don't know. Okay, oh my dear. The answer is a full sentence. Ah, uh, but it says complete the conditional. So I need to write the whole sentence? 
Yeah, that's why it says type. The I is a typo. Like in the in the first one, uh, if you send this letter now, she will receive it tomorrow. So like this, look. Okay, let me just. Uh-huh. She will receive it tomorrow. So I need to read it completely. You can, you can make it, yeah, and you can make it like that or you can make the contraction. Okay. Ah, okay. So, but it's not saying that I must write it uh, full. Yeah, Let me but... just try. Let me try. Let me try. Oh, yes, it's Oops. correct. <laughs> okay, I will complete the rest because I have the answer, but just, okay, I will complete the rest. Okay, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't leave okay. me. Uh -huh. I have something that I want to share with you. Uh -huh. Let's see. Okay, I know you will like it. <laughs> I am sure you will like it. Let's see. I'm going to give you something that is one of my specials. Oh, really? Thank you. Let's see. Let me. Oh, grandma. Let me open it here in the other tab. <gasps> Perfect. Grammar explanations. Yep. Wow. But I... mm -hmm. But I want you not to focus on how to make the verb tense, how mm -hmm. to use the verb tenses. Ah, okay. okay. So I click on every link and thanks for that. And then okay. you get then you get explanation and you will get the option to do some exercises and you'll be graded on those exercises. That's why I told you you will have fun. Thank you, because yes, I'm always fighting with all this have has had <laughs> yeah and you know something that is going to help you a lot is to understand how they are used because once you get the idea the exact mm -hmm. idea they are expressing um uh, i don't know why but when you are in this level of english that you are right now mm -hmm. uh, if you understand how if your mind understand mm -hmm. what's the idea the verb tense is expressing it becomes easier for you to use them and apply them. You know that, the, yes, and I agree with you because that happens with the zero conditional. I saw that topic on in the past and I was like, what? The zero, the one, I was so confused. But yesterday it was like, ah, this is the formula. So must be in, in the, the bear when I use the if, it must be in the uh, present and then the other, uh, using the future oh my god and i understood very well the zero condition yeah it's easy right mm -hmm. yes easy and i'm uh, waiting for the uh, conditional the one condition the one conditional there is a second and there is a third one i guess yeah there's a second and a third the the second conditional the zero conditional is just facts the first conditional is all present on real probabilities yeah, something like that no i'm sorry it's future possible ah, future possible. The first conditional is future possible the second conditional is present on real oh okay if i it is the one that we've been working the whole night <laughs> yes i know i know this I whole know night it. we've been working in second condition mm -hmm. but i mean if i was one? I, it's if, like mandatory something. I don't remember. I, the third one is the past unreal. Like Anna Claudia, if you have pay attention to the class, you will have understood everything. Exactly. Yes. Yes. I like this class a lot today. And the, the actually the third condition is easier for us to understand, even mm -hmm. though it's a little bit more complex, the structure. Mm. It's easier for us to understand because we speak that way. Mm -hmm. Got it. And we don't speak in the second conditional. That's why today I was focused just in the second conditional. In the second conditional. Because whenever you get to see the grammar, you will find it simple. Mm -hmm. Because you now you've been practicing a lot. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But that's something that I'm going to explain to you tomorrow that you were doing it. 
Awesome. Because if I told you beforehand, you will be like stressed trying to pay attention how to do it. Exactly. That and, is what I want to and, tell you. In and you've been working like natural. Mm -hmm. That's what happened in the past. And I remember I was printing out all pages with explanation and I was so confused at the end. But yesterday with the zero condition, it was all oh, so easy. Mm -mm. Yes. Yeah, and I sent you the PDF. Yes, I see it now in the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thanks, you. Thanks for oh, staying in. And if you got any question, let me know, okay? Okay, not a problem. No, I will resolve this right now. Thank you very much, teacher. Okay. Have a good night. Same to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>